here we are asked to determine the point of intersection of the following line with the, a given plane. Now let's just re remember what, what we've got here is a Cartesian, uh, sorry, a par parametric vector form of a line that passes through the point 2, 3, 0 and is parallel to the vector 1, negative 1, 4. And this is a plane sitting in three-dimensional space and it's, it's a Cartesian form. So how do we do it? Well the secret is just kind of realising that we can write our position vector x of the points on the line as a column vector and then work component wise, okay? So say from star uh, x equals 2 plus mu y equals 3 minus mu where mu is the parameter and z is just a constant, oh sorry no, z is 4 mu so let's call this, you guessed it, double star Let's sub these x, y, z values back into, um, into double star, and then we'll find a value for mu, hopefully, and then um, we'll be able to back substitute to get the point or the position vector associated with that particular value of mu. Okay, so let's sub into double star. All right, we obtain, okay, two times two plus mu, uh, plus 3 times 3 minus mu plus 4 mu uh, let's put the 16 over here because I'm going to um, play around with that okay so if I expand this I'm going to get 4 plus 2 mu plus 9 minus 3 mu plus 4 mu so uh, I'm going to have 13 plus 3 mu is that looking good? so if I solve that I'll get mu equals 1 So what I can do now is go back to my line, plug in the value mu equals 1, that will give me one point. One value of mu in the parameterization for the line gives you one point. Okay, so it's going to be uh, 2, 3, 0, plus 1. Or we could just go up here actually and do it, do it up there. That would be just as, just as good. <laughs> In fact, probably better. So you get 3, 2, and 4. Hence, our point of intersection is here. 